But we are making a rebatch today. I made the soap. Um, I was trying to use up some oils that I had laying around, and for whatever reason, I may have added a little more oil or doubled an oil. Um, it's definitely not lye heavy, but it's very, very soft. I don't know if you can. We'll try this guy. Oh, of course, this guy's hard. <laughs> Gabriella is watching a show in the living room. Yeah, see, you can see it's really soft. Fish. And I've used up, I actually made a double batch. It's fish? All right, cool. I actually made a double batch of this, so this is actually the second rebatch I've made. Um, I have all my shreds and stuff. This has been on for a few minutes, so it is kind of melting down. But all I'm going to do is just shred this with my cheese grater here. Um, I do not use this for cheese anymore. Obviously, it's just for soap. So I'm going to grate this up, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're ready to add the shreds into the crock pot. My son Lucas is going to add them in, so he can go ahead and do that now. I'm going to get some water ready to pour in to just sort of help the melting process and to sort of help it be a little smoother. You don't need much. Uh, you can tell if your mix is dry um, and if you need a little bit more moisture, um, you know, as it's mixing and melting. Hi, Mama. Hi, honey. You want to say hi to the camera? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of water in. You don't, like I said, you don't really need much. So I just gave this a quick stir. I'm going to put the cover on it and we're going to let it cook. And we'll be back when I, you know, from time to time to stir it. And I will show you when we put it in the mold what it looks like. So we're just going to scoop this in the mold. Make sure this is off. And I'm plugged. The thing about rebatch is that it's not real pretty. But I do try to keep chunks, so you can see there's some pink. I do try to keep some chunks in mine, because I know they're not all going to melt down. So you can sort of see it in the middle. Mom, do Make I still have lips on? You do still have lips on. And nothing is gross. It's... <laughs> She thinks it looks funny. So we're just going to push it down. And I think we're going to... Oh yeah, that's a little warm. Back that down. You probably were shaky during all that. I'm just going to try to flatten this out as best as I can. And I will bring you back for the cutting. Of course, this will take a little while to uh, cool. But as soon as it is cool you can use it. And you know another trick I like to do is take a little bit of wax paper here and push it down on top just so it's nice and even because sometimes with a spoon you can't get that effect. And it doesn't stick. And we need a little fill in right there so I'm just going to continue scraping this and getting it in the mold. Okay guys, we'll see you for the cut. Okay, so we're going to cut the rebatch soap that we made this afternoon. I'm just pulling the sides away from the soap. I am going to just kind of push it out. It's still, I mean it's not soft, but it could probably stay in a little bit longer. Yeah, it's not pretty. <laughs> but that's alright. So we're just going to give this a cut. And I do like to cut these a little bit bigger. Because well, I don't need any samples. I do like to check out the inside of them. And I mean that's pretty cool. Even though it's kind of ugly on top. <laughs> I probably will shave it down a little bit. My phone's talking to me now. <laughs> So we are just going to continue to cut this. Ooh, 
we got some pink in there. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today has been a busy day for me. <laughs> it's really cool. And like I said, it's not pretty, but it's still functional. It still has all the benefits of all the oils that are used in my normal batch of, or regular batch of soap. Um, basically, what this is, is a soap, um, which you saw earlier in the video, is just a soap that's really was really soft. And just all the parts and pieces and shavings and imperfections of all my other soaps that were cleaned up. And now we uh, have this little guy. And it's actually a really good size for your hand, so that, that works out. And I don't sell these, I just keep them for myself. It's just a good way to use up the, you know, stuff that gets taken off the regular, nicer bars. And my family uses these, I give them out to my family to use. But there you have it, folks. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye!